Revenge? Yeah. Someone fuck you over or something like that, and you had to get revenge on them? No, I don't think I ever really... I don't know. That's what Tom told me. I don't think I ever really... Been, that's what I told you. I was bartering cigarettes for everything in life. I got to look to it see was a exactly few times. I, I don't know. Maybe it's something I'm just not remembering, but... No, I can't think offhand that I ever been in like real trouble. And oh, <laughs> yeah, baby, <laughs> there we go. Was there maybe a cleaning utensil that you might have used? This what happened. This was a nigga from the street. So okay. what happened was, you know, when you're selling drugs, there's always other drug dealing crews that y'all beef with. So these niggas was another drug dealing crew, like, and um, one time, um, I went out to a nightclub and I just got a little too drunk. And I was just having a little too much fun, you know? And I went back to the hotel that we were staying at. It was actually my little brother homecoming. He's he's starting to get older and shit, so we was, like, taking him out. We got him a hotel room and all that type of shit. So we went back to the hotel room, and just so happened, as soon as I go into the lobby, the niggas we beefing with is in the lobby. But I'm, you know, we both ignoring each other, kind of acting like we don't see each other. But then I see these two bitches, and I'm like... You can't help what's yourself. Up? What's up with the bitches? And I'm sorry, no, talking to the God, bitches. Part two, these, these niggas bitches. Oh, come on. <laughs> come so I just put myself in a line of fire. And it's the crazy shit. We come into the hotel 10 deep. Everybody going to the elevator for me to show them where the room at, except me. Eee. So they all, because I haven't seen these bitches. Now I'm trying to talk to these bitches. Yeah. And next thing I know, one of the niggas came up the blue. And he's like, man, this nigga ain't got no heater on him right now. We about to beat this nigga up. Mm. And I was like, what? Nigga, what's up? Started trying to talk my gangster shit. And then one of the homies actually came in that didn't come in the group with the elevator. He came in, he started trying to break it up. Like, leave it alone, Danny. Come on, come on. And it, he did break it up. He did break it up. And then um, I'm like, you know, just the drunk courage, something in me. He's like, fuck that. Fuck these niggas. And I run back up in there, square my shit up. I don't know what happened. All I remember, a nigga face just got close to mine. Like he did some like Michael Jackson thing. Shit like this. And then niggas was waking me up. It was statues broke. It was crazy. <laughs> It was a crime scene. Now all my homies coming up the elevator like, what the fuck happened? I'm talking about my face. I had a Timberland tree in the middle of my head. I remember waking up in the morning looking in the mirror like, this life ain't for me. I want to go back to school. I think I need to, I think I need to join Job Corps or something like that. Shit. So yeah, so they whooped me bad. And uh, so I always had that grudge with these niggas. And I'm like, yeah, I'll see the niggas again. It's home. Yeah. Work in the registry. One day I got the big ass nigga with me. This nigga locked up. Nah. <laughs> the guy who put the Timberland on your head. Uh, one of them. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but he's like the main guy. He's yeah, like yeah. the most popular guy with the crew. So <laughs> now I see him. His name is Jason. I see my oh, this nigga Jason in here. <laughs> so I see the nigga, but I didn't plan it out too good. Part two, you know, Cartier glasses. Yeah. That's like a big staple in Detroit. Yeah. He's in the jail cell with his Cartier glasses on. That right there should have gave me a sign. Leave this nigga alone. It's no possible way he got his Cardi. They put to take the Cardis from you. So mm. you want some status shit to even have the Cardis. He's sitting in the cell with the Cardis on. And he's by himself too. I fake it off. I go get a push broom. I go get the push broom. And I fake it like I'm about to go in there and clean the cell and shit. And you know there's cameras everywhere. So everybody can watch it. So as soon as I get in the cell, try to hit the nigga with the broom. You know what I'm saying? Like on some shit, I try to hit the nigga with the broom. This nigga did some Jet Li shit. Caught the broom. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga caught me, caught the broom, and gave me three stiff bitches. That's all I can call them. Stiff bitches, man. Straight to the nose. Like, boom, boom, boom. I just, I dropped the broom and just ran out. Like, oh, he's crazy. He's crazy in here. Because then I'm like, you know. I'm like, they seen it on camera, so they about to bust in this bitch any time. They be like, no, Snoop, we seen you start that shit, he whoop your ass. So all the CEOs joking on me now. Nah, that was the entire joke before I left, so yeah. That was, that's the revenge story. Come on, bro. <laughs> Three stiff bitches. Three stiff bitches. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I, mean, I, I didn't have a backup plan. That's what I said. I didn't, I didn't plan this out right. I'm about to hit this nigga with the boy. That's just a motion just clear to me when I see it. I'm ready to hit you with the oh Michael God. Jackson again. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga caught the broom, man. And moonwalk out there. <laughs> Well, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I ate him. I ate him like a G. Yeah, but yeah. I got up out of there after that. I'm like, I don't know if I can. This is a different weight class. <laughs> I don't think it's a weight class. <laughs> so 
Really, I think our beef ended there, man. It's over with. Okay, uh, good. So Jason's good in your yeah, book. Yeah, he good. Yeah. I ain't got no smoke with that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I learned my lesson. Did he get cigarettes while he was in jail at least? No, nah, I ain't giving that nigga shit. <laughs> Fuck that nigga. He probably did now. All right, so you get out of jail, <laughs> right? And you got confidence now. You know you could run some <laughs> shit. <laughs> he got to be dead in jail still. <laughs> How ain't Jason still walking these streets living in North Carolina? Yeah, you better hope, bro. That's crazy. He gonna see this shit. Like, coming for you. 